feel like my hands are starting to look old. <laughs> but it it smells like furniture polish to me. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got another haul and PR show and tell for y'all today. So as usual, I'm gonna start with the haul part, things that I purchased myself, and then I'll switch over into PR, and I will let you know when we are making that switch over into PR things that were sent to me. So yeah, I'm just gonna run through the different goodies and do a little haul and PR show and tell. So let's get to it. So I picked up some goodies from Sephora recently and I went ahead and swatched quite a few of them for you. So I'll be able to show you some swatches along the way while I'm talking about them. So first I got one of the NARS Velvet Lip Glides and this is in the shade Stripped. And it's the color that I'm wearing right now. I really like these. I got one of these in gratis from Sephora and it was like a reddish color. It's so pretty. I think it's called like Le Palis or something that looks like palace. So Le Palis, Le Palis, Le Palace. I don't know, but it's a really pretty red color. I really, really like it. So I got stripped and it's a beautiful nude color. Really, really like that. I like these because like they start out pretty creamy, but then they kind of like set down a little bit and I look like I have glitter on my lips and I probably do, probably from swatching this guy that I'm about to talk about next. But anyway, they're really nice because they start out really creamy and like a gloss, but then they set down and they wear a good amount of time. They're really a unique kind of a product, like a like a gloss, but then they have kind of like a little bit of a staining quality to them, but they're really comfortable and they smell really good. They smell like um, like vanilla cupcakes. So yummy, love that. So really excited about that. I thought the nude was a pretty color. And then I got another one of the Touch and Soul Metalist Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duos. I just can't stop with these. I just think they are amazing. I'm obsessed with them. This is the color Margaret, and it's what I have on my eyes right now, and it's just like, oh my goodness, I love this so much. It's so pretty. So on this side right here, I just have the liquidy side, and then on that side, I put the glitter on top of it. So the glitter is really close to the liquidy side on this one. I also have Lottie and Talia, and on Lottie, the glitter is pretty different than um, the liquidy side. They go really well together, but they're not the exact color. This one, pretty much the exact same color, almost. The, and maybe the liquidy side is a little bit more orangey, but I mean, it's, it's really close but it's amazing. I love it. I'm obsessed with these. Then I got a couple of lip sets. I love these little lip sets because it's a way of trying multiple different colors, but then you don't have a bunch of full sizes. It's less of an investment. So you just end up with more variety for less money. So I really like these little sets. So first off, I got the Huda Beauty Lip Contour Set, and this is the one that comes with the liner in Trophy Wife, and then the liquid mattes in Trophy Wife and Muse. So I swatched these right here. There are those. Really, really pretty. I think that, let's see. Yeah, Muse is the lighter one and Trophy Wife is the darker one, I believe. And then that's the liner on the end. So really, really pretty. I have not tried these on the lips yet, but I've heard really good things about them. Let me show you like what size they look like. So. They're on the smaller size. They're a little bit smaller than I was expecting them to be, but still, I mean, you know, you're getting to try it. What does it say? It says um, two at 0 .064 fluid ounces. So I don't really know what size the full size are, but at least you get to try the different colors. So I'm excited to try that. I will share my thoughts soon on that one. And then I got this set. I opened it and now I can't get them back in there properly. So there they are. <laughs> This is the Bare Minerals Nude and Nice Mini Gin Nude Matte Liquid Lip Color Trio. That was a long name, but y'all know how much I love these. Oh my goodness, and they're like this size. So still, I mean, you get a good amount of product in there. So I've got them swatched here. So this one is Wink, Infamous, and Juju. So there are those swatched. So a really pretty kind of like pinky nude sort of a set. Really, really fun. Look how like, I feel like this all is in like the same color family. This is so pretty. I love this color family. It just, I love those colors. They're so pretty. I got a couple full sizes of some much loved products for me. 
First is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. This has been like a miracle hair product for my fine hair. I feel like it just gives thickness, it holds my style better. It just, I like the way it makes my hair feel. It's just, my hair feels easier to work with and I like it has more substance to it, you know? Just more thickness, this is so good. Um, I don't know how I feel about the shape of this container. I don't. I feel like I'm gonna have a hard time getting all the product out of it. But, I mean, it looks cool, but I don't know how functional that is. So, we will see on that, but I love the product inside. And then I got a full size of the Kate Somerville Delo Oil Restorative Treatment. Oh my goodness, I love this oil. I feel like it makes such a difference with fine lines, and it's just good. I love it. And I really like this little detail. They put a little window on the side so you can actually see, like, how much product you have left. So really, really nice. I This is one of my favorite oils. This one and the Josie Marin Argon Oil are like go-tos for me. A couple of palettes that I picked up recently. First is the B by Bubs Beauty by BH Cosmetics. This is the 12 color eyeshadow palette. So I've swatched this and I've played with it, I think two times, at least one time and I think it's okay. I love BH Cosmetics Baked Shadows. I think they're amazing. Um, I think their other shadows are nice, especially for the price, but like this one, I think it's good, but I'm just not blown away by it. You know what I mean? It's a really pretty like collection of colors, um, but I don't know. They might be shadows that if I like kind of get down into them a little bit more, They'll be better, and they're not bad, but I don't know. You know what I mean? I'm just kind of a, eh, it's okay. I think it's pretty good, but not amazing, but good for $12. You know what I mean? I have to remember that. It was around $12 when I bought it, so, you know, pretty good, but I like their baked shadows way, way, way more, and I'm really excited about this one. This is the Tarte Tardis Pro Amazonian clay palette. So the outside packaging is really beautiful. I think that's so nice. Um, the outside of the actual palette is really, really pretty looking, but it gets dirty really quickly. So mine is already looking a little bit dirty, a little bit messy, but this palette, oh my goodness, it's so pretty. It's so reflective, but it's so pretty. I think if you like, let me show you a couple swatches. I think if you like the, um, Tartlet palette and the, is that what it's called? Yeah, and then the Tartlet and Bloom palette, I think you will like this palette because these feel like the same texture to me. Like the mattes feel very, very similar, but they are pigmented, they blend well, they wear well. So I'm like really excited about this palette and really, really enjoying it. I mean, look. <gasps> So pretty. They drug a little bit because I had just wiped off my hand like I used a makeup remover. So I feel like that one's looking a little bit weird. Don't judge it by that. That's looking a bit, little bit weird, but it doesn't look weird like that on your eyes. It's really, really pretty on the eyes. But look at that duochrome. What? That is so pretty. So the few times I've played with this palette so far, I'm really impressed with it. I'm really enjoying it. Then I grabbed three L'Oreal things from Ulta. They had a really good sale going on. I don't know if it's still going on, but it was buy two, get one free. And then I had the $3.50 off $15 coupon. And then I had three manufacturer's coupons. So I got all three of these things for, I think like 13 bucks or so. And they're normally like $10 a piece. So less than half price, which is my kind of shopping. So I grabbed a couple more of these little pocket palettes. The Color Reach Pocket Palettes. Several of you guys gave me some suggestions. One of y'all mentioned this one. One of y'all mentioned the purple one. And I looked at that one and it just, it wasn't speaking to me. So I didn't get that one for now, but I got these two. This one was already kind of like on my radar. So anyway, I'm babbling. First off, this is Haute Hazel. Let me show you Haute Hazel. Haute Hazel is a really pretty kind of like turquoisey sort of a quad. And it's really pretty. This swatches so well, like that one right there. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. So I cannot wait to play with this. Let me know if you'd wanna see a tutorial or something. Like, I think this would look really pretty with this or even an all drugstore tutorial, I could do that too. So let me know, cause this is a gorgeous palette. Oh my goodness, I'm excited about that one. 
I would need to bring in some kind of a matte transition color, but other than that, I think it's pretty much going to make a really pretty eye look. This other one is Boudoir Charm, Boudoir Charm, and this one just looks like a really pretty kind of like bronzy sort of a palette, so it's swatched on right there. Really pretty bronzy shades, kind of like coppery, you know, colors that I probably already have, but it just looks really pretty, and I always get excited about drugstore makeup, and I like having drugstore makeup to be able to, you know, use it throughout the week and just use it in tutorials and just really like, I like to have drugstore makeup on my channel. So anyway, that's why I like to get drugstore makeup because I love it and because I know you guys love it. So first off, not first off, third off, I got the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss. This is in S Shanghai Scarlet. I was going to say Shanghai Scarlet. Nope. Shanghai Scarlet, and this is a really, really gorgeous red. I don't know, I've just been feeling the red lips lately, so got the red, and these are really, really nice. They kind of remind me of the NARS Lip Glides, or the, the um, NARS Lip Glides remind me of these, since these came out after these, but it's that like kind of glossy sort of a look, but then it kind of sets down, and then it's nice and long wearing, but it's really comfortable. These don't smell as good as the NARS Lip Glides, but they're not as bad. Well, I don't think they're as bad as the L'Oreal lipsticks by any stretch, but they do have a perfumey sort of a scent, but I don't think they're bad at all. So really excited about these drugstore goodies. Okay, we are officially switching over into PR goodies. So these things were sent to me, but as always, these are my honest opinions. You guys always know that. So got some goodies from the body shop. These are the matte lip liquids. So I have six different colors here. Let me run through them for you. So this first one is Sydney Amerilis number 14. The next one right there is Meritius Meritius. I'm sorry, Dahlia number 17. Then we have Taipei Orchid number 20. Then we have Crate Carnation, number 30. Then we have a kind of nudie brown color. That one is Windsor Rose, number 32. And the last one is Nairobi Camellia, number 34. So really, really pretty. I like these. They remind me a lot of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. I already talked about one of the red ones the, not one of the red ones, the one red one I have in a Friday Favorites because I really, really like them. They're like moussey like the NYX soft matte lip creams but a little bit more long wearing. Um, the only one I had a little bit of issue with was this one. It takes a little bit of building. Honestly, when I was swatching it, this one seemed to have a little bit of trouble this time, that kind of nudie brown. But I've worn that one and I didn't notice that on the lips. Um, so I really do like these. I think they're a cool product and they smell good. They have kind of like a sweet candy sort of a scent. And Beauty Junkies has a new product. This is their Powder Contour Kit. The packaging on it is very kind of like Anastasia Beverly Hills feeling to me, so that's really nice. And I've used this multiple times now and I am impressed with this. These are buttery and pigmented, like really pigmented. So a little bit goes a long way. Even now, like I'm gonna probably get way too much product just trying to swatch it for you guys. But like when you're using this, a little bit just goes a long way. So just know that. But they blend really, really nicely. Super nice. Um, I do find myself grabbing a lot more for the contour colors, more so than the, um, I don't know why I just, I just totally skipped my middle finger. So these are going to be all out of order of how they are on my hand or on my fingers, but that's okay. You get the idea. At least you get to see some swatches. So I like that normally. Um, see, like it just, you don't need much product with these. So just barely tap your brush in there. Um, but even with my like Kat Von D contour kit and stuff like that, I just find myself grabbing for the contour colors more than the highlights because I use a different setting powder and I just kind of don't think about it. But really pretty. Now the highlighter on it, which is here, or the highlighter in the palette, it's definitely very subtle. So if you like a little bam highlighter, you're probably gonna wanna bring something else in when you use this palette. But if you don't like a little bam highlighter, if you want something more natural, work appropriate, just more subdued, I think you would really like it because it is really pretty 
it's just more on the subtle side for sure. So I really like this palette. I think it's really nice. And on the topic of contouring and highlighting, Makeup Geek has some new highlighters and Ofra has a new highlighter. So starting with the Makeup Geek ones, these are so pretty in the packaging. They just look beautiful. This is what the duochrome one looks like. So it's kind of like holographic duochrome-y looking. And then this is one of the regular ones. Really beautiful. And the packaging feels really nice on these, very sturdy. They do get fingerprints like crazy and they're very like reflective. So let me just try to show you. So there is that just super reflective and it does show fingerprints, but it does feel fancy. And then just looking at it in the packaging, let me get a different one where you can actually like see it. That one's gonna be harder since it's more of a white base. I want you to be able to kind of see like the pattern in it because the pattern is really pretty. There you can see that one. So beautiful. I love that little added touch that they did of doing the little like imprinting. It's like the um, Kathleen Lights palette is. That one has the, the imprint, imprintation? No. The indentation and imprinting on it. Really, really pretty. Let me show you some swatches. And I did want to mention Marlena in her video said that you kind of have to get past like the first layer to really get good pigmentation. Um, I didn't really find that. I thought they were really pigmented from the very beginning. So I think these are gorgeous. So this first one is psychedelic and this one is more of the duochrome color. So this one is more subtle, but really an interesting color. It's like a white base with peach and it almost looks like it has like some blue shift to it but a little bit of pink too, really, really neat. So I like that one a lot. So that is psychedelic. Next is Luster. So that one's kind of like a peachy champagne pink. And then lastly, we have, there goes a loud car. Lastly, we have Daybreak, which is a really pretty, like light peach. Oh my gosh. These are so nice. Super duper buttery, super duper pigmented. I think these are just, Awesome. My preference, I think, are these because they're more wabam, and I like a wabam highlight. But I think this one is really cool too. It's just something kind of like different. And the Ofra one is called Blissful, and it looks a lot like Rodeo Drive in the actual packaging. That kind of like swirly sunshine sort of a design to it. Really, really pretty. But this one is a lot less gold, and it's more of like a champagne peachy sort of a color. It's beautiful. Rodeo Drive is a lot more golden, like a bright golden color. Still really like that one. But this one is more of that peachy sort of a color. Really, really pretty. Oh my goodness. When I was first swatching this, it felt a little bit more gritty to me. And I was like, oh, it seems like the texture is a little bit different. But once I got down into it, now it's feeling more buttery like the other ones. So this one may be kind of like that situation where you kind of have to get past the first layer of it, but really, really pretty. It is a little bit um, like powdery in the container. It's kind of puffing up some powder and stuff. So I think it's that outer layer because now that I'm down into it, it's feeling different and I'm not seeing it like poof around quite as much. But these, their highlighters are super duper pigmented. So they do kick up some product and they are wha-bam highlighters, but they are beautiful. And I'm really loving this new color. I think this is part of their, or gonna be part of their like holiday collection or something is what I'm hearing. So that's exciting. And I love that name, Blissful. It's just like a happy name. And oh my goodness, I was thrilled when YSL Beauty approved me for these things through Octoly. If you haven't heard of Octoly, I've mentioned it multiple times before, but it's basically a website where YouTubers can go on and apply to try out products and then the company like decides if yes They'd like to send it to you or not. So it's you actually like asking. Hey, I'd love to try that This looks really cool and then them approving or not approving you. So YSL Beauty approved me on these and they are So pretty. So first is one of the ruse. No, not ruse Rouge Volupte Shines, and this is in number eight, Pink in Confidence. The packaging on their lipsticks is just absolutely gorgeous. It's so fancy, it's weighty, it feels heavy. They have the prettiest packaging, in my opinion. Like, I think I even talked about this in my Lipstick Lover 
video is what is the prettiest packaging and this was my pick because it's just incredible. So Pink and Confidence is the most beautiful everyday pink color. It's gorgeous. I love this. I really, really love this. I've worn it multiple times and it smells good. What does it smell like? Like a Jolly Rancher or something? It's sweet and kind of like a little bit watermelony or something and it's got like this beautiful shine to it. So it's not crazy pigmented. It's supposed to be more like shiny and glossy and everyday, but when you get out in the sunshine, oh my goodness, this just like, like catches the sun and it's so glossy and reflective. I don't, I'm not sure if it has shimmer or not, to be honest. Like looking at it here, I don't really see any, but I feel like when I was putting it on outside, it seemed like it maybe did, but I definitely don't feel any shimmer on my lips and it's not like it has chunky glitter. It's just like something that's super glossy and reflective in the sun. It's beautiful, it's comfortable, it's, it's glossy feeling. It's just a really nice lipstick, not super long wearing. I don't think that's what it's intended to be. I think it's supposed to be just a glossy, beautiful lipstick and it is. And this is the YSL Beauty Black Opium Wild Edition. Look at this beautiful packaging. Oh my goodness. I've heard great things about this perfume. I know a lot of people love this. And I think this is supposed to be the exact same perfume, but just in like special animal print wild sort of packaging. So love the bottle on this. I mean, it just looks beautiful. Very, very fancy. And I really do like the scent on this. It smells good. It reminds me of, um, oh man. What's the one from Jessica Simpson that's the kind of like vanilla, warm sort of scent? That one's always been one of my favorites. So it kind of reminds me of that a little bit, but then something different. These are the notes, I just looked it up. Coffee Accord Orange Blossom Cedarwood Essence Patchouli Essence. And it says the style is addictive, floral, and energetic. So yeah, it's sweet. I feel like I smell like vanilla or something in it. It does have a warmth to it. Um, I'm excited to wear it. I haven't worn it yet to know like how I like it on me and how it like wears throughout the day and how, cause sometimes perfumes can bother me. They can give me a headache. They cannot give me a headache. So I always have to like see how is it actually going to do for me. But the actual scent of it, I think is really, really nice. It smells yummy and I love this packaging. And then Pixie sent me a really cute little box. It says, Pixie is all about fuss free flaw fixers packed full of skin loving ingredients. And this is supposed to be the, says classic beauty, simplify your beauty routine with these must have pixie products for a timeless look. Lush lashes, defined brows, and bold lips in a few fuss free minutes. Super cute, talks about the products you get on the back here. So there's a little lip product in here. This is the Shea Butter Lip Balm. And I don't know if it has a color name. Yes, Ripe Raspberry. So I have it swatched right there. That's not a good swatch. Let me show you a better swatch. Hang on. There we go. Much better. Got stuck on my bony hand, so it made a weird looking swatch. Oh no, still weird looking. Getting stuck on my knuckle now. All kinds of craziness is happening. <laughs> okay, so there is ripe raspberry. This smells amazing. It smells like vanilla. So yummy. Oh my goodness. Love the scent on it. Love the color. It's a really pretty kind of like I don't know, raspberry color, like a bright pinky reddish sort of a shade. This is the liner that comes in it. This is the Endless Silky Eye Pen, and this is in Graphic Grage. Really pretty color, kind of like a, like a taupey gray kind of a shade. And then this also comes with a brow product. This is the Endless Brow Gel Pen. And this is in medium, so this would be too dark for me, so I didn't want to swatch it and you know ruin it for somebody. So that's gonna be a little bit dark for me, but it's nice that it's in there. And then this is the Lengthy Fiber Mascara, and here's a picture of it. I don't want to open it yet because I have a lot of mascaras open, but it looks like this. It's got like the little tiny sort of a wand to it. And what does it say about it? It says this ultra defining formula enhanced with fibers gives maximum length while vitamin E, panthenol, and chamomile extract strengthen and protect lashes. So the mascara is $16, the lip balm is $8, the brow gel pen is 11, 
and the silky eye pin is 12. So really nice little set here. And I'll have to look up like how you can get this. Um, I know they sent me some information, so I will link it down below for you. And then lastly, FabFitFun sent me their winter welcome box. I'm gonna quickly run through this. So you get the little card here that talks about all the products. It says, welcome to FabFitFun. And you have all your little information here. So I already ate one of these products. <laughs> The Pop Chips, Pop Chips Ridges, and then I forgot and threw the bag away, but I really liked them. It says, um, I think that they were, yeah, it says are never fried, contain no added preservatives, no synthetic color, and no artificial flavors. So I thought those were really good. So I already ate those. Then you get this little thing, a portable power bank. I love these for vacation. Timothy and I always bring these with us, especially to like New York and Boston where we're not like close to our room to be able to go charge our phones. These are great because we can have these all like charged up and be able to recharge our phones throughout the day. So love that. There is a little yoga towel in here. This is by Summer and Rose and it's a value of $36. So I love that kind of cornflower blue kind of a color. Really, really pretty. There is this product. I did try to use this one day. The scent of this got to me. This is the Dr. B Schwab Flawless Skin Fluid. And it's basically, I think, supposed to be, it says lightweight moisturizer that evens out skin tone and restores clarity for a youthful looking flawless glow in any light. And it kind of goes on to talk about it more. Um, it looks kind of greasy on my skin and it smells perfumey, but I don't think it is because I think it's supposed to be more on the natural side. It says all natural ingredients, including grape stem, cell extract, and powerful peptides help to balance and brighten the skin. This is a value of $39. So I, it must be one of the essential oils in there or something that I'm just not a fan of the scent. Um, and it was a little bit greasy on me, but I always like natural sort of skincare products. Um, so I think, you know, a lot of people would love this, but it's not necessarily for me. There are a couple brushes in here from Ofra. This is the number 20 brush, and this is the number 11 brush. They both feel really, really soft, nice for concealer. I love these sort of like pointy kind of concealers for either my under eyes or um, using concealer around my lips for like a red lip where I want a really defined, crisp line. I'll take like a concealer brush like this and really like clean up those lines. So. Love Ofra, love their products, so I was excited to see that. This is the Lather AHA Hand Cream with Evening Primrose, a rejuvenating, no, a regenerating alpha hydroxy hand treatment. So I'm always looking for things for my hands because my hands, I feel like my hands are starting to look old because <laughs> they're dry, like they're always so dry. So I try to use something on my hands at night um, but I forget a lot of times. I'll use like, well, no, I've been forgetting lately. I need to remember to do that more. So I'm gonna use this, especially since it has like the alpha hydroxy sort of stuff in it. So I will keep you posted on that. And then this is the Oscar Blondie Dry Shampoo Invisible Spray. It says sprays clear. So I've used this multiple times and I really like how it works. I do feel like it works. It does spray clear. And I like the scent of it, but it rem it smells like furniture polish to me. Something I used to use, and I think especially since it has the brown bottle, it just, so I don't remember what I used to use, but I think it had like a brown bottle, and I think it smelled kind of like this. It's not a bad scent, it smells good. It's like citrusy and lemony, but that's instantly what I, what I thought of, was like, smells a little bit like furniture polish, but it does really work, so that's good. All right guys, so that wraps up this probably really long haul and PR show and tell video. So I hope that you really enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful for you. Please do a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you've been picking up recently or what you've just been loving recently, either like revisited things from your collection or just new goodies you've picked up. I would love to know that. Ask me any questions that you have, I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.